starting route to Pickerel. Off to Pickerel we go. And then turn left onto North 33rd Street. There we go. It is trip number 16 for Seth Gardner and Austin Schneider, two University of Nebraska Omaha oh, college sorry, sophomores, on a quest to visit all 531 towns in Nebraska. Go two blocks down this way. The two are headed to their first town of the day and number 300 on their journey. That'll work right there. quick photo and they're back in the car. Headed to their next stop in Pickerel at a veterans memorial. Respect toward the town and respect to the people who served yeah. and gave their lives. Just like that, Seth and Austin are on to number 301. One driving, the other creating a post on Facebook for their 22,000 followers to learn a little something about Pickerel. At a time when it seemed the entire world was shutting down and self-isolating, so that marker was off there. these two best friends Spot and college roommates decided to fight their COVID-19 boredom with a grand adventure. We're sitting around at home doing nothing. So I got up to Austin one day, I'm like, hey, you wanna go visit all 531 towns in the state? And I was all for it. Armed with masks, Lysol, and a healthy supply of antibacterial lotion, the two hit the road every few days, taking day trips that begin and end in their hometown of Wahoo. We stayed away from people for the most part, as best as we possibly could. That was probably the biggest challenge, I guess, was just keeping in mind that there's a pandemic. Try to do what you can to keep other people safe without spreading the virus. So I have cystic fibrosis, so I have to take a lot of precautions. I do treatments every night and morning to help my lungs. I take medicine every day, so just trying to keep as cautious as possible. 76 people is what the population said online. While COVID-19 devastated families, disrupted lives, and limited human interaction, these two found a way to forge new connections through social media with strangers in Nebraska and beyond who were isolated in their own homes. For many, it became a virtual escape. People started offering free food. People are like, hey, when are you gonna be here? People are saying, have you been to this town yet? Have you seen this yet? Will you go here? Others became so invested in their journey, they donated funds to pay for gas, food, or lodging. In the end, they broke even thanks to followers who just wanted them to see it through. They visited every county courthouse, all 93. And brought along a mascot to remind them to keep going. They wanted to learn more about their state, from the origins of towns, to historical markers. The Oregon Trail is the only like trail in Nebraska that does this. The California Trail doesn't have like big markers. As well as a few odd, perhaps lesser known bits of history. You can fit five Rhode Islands into just Cherry County. The voice of Tony the Tiger was born in Norfolk, Nebraska. Strobe light. The strobe light was invented in Aurora, Nebraska. In Blue Hill, there's actually this law where it says, any woman in public eating an onion, wearing a hat that could scare a timid person can technically be arrested. Seth and Austin even had a chance to look into their own family histories at the Homestead yeah, National father. Monument. His father was also John Taylor. One of the few so stops open for visitors. You'll see a few names here, right? Yeah. P and W. Well, you're standing in front of the old bag. That used to be the post office right there, and it's what's left of it is just the bulb. What else would you like to know? You the Visit 531 guys? Yeah, that's oh, us. This is what we're hoping for. I love what you guys are doing. I think it's great. This has been a pretty strange year and not the best for everybody, but uh, this is a great thing we can take from it. And I hope you guys achieve your goal. I'm sure you will. So how did they accomplish such an enormous undertaking in just a few months during a crisis? 
This was a bucket list goal for Seth, and the pandemic provided a rare opportunity of time. Yeah, probably right there. That's good. Plus, it doesn't hurt that Seth one. is an Eagle Scout and you might say a bit of a planner. I plan all my family vacations. Um, I've been doing it for years now. Heading out west was a bit more challenging. That one was a killer. That took 35 hours of planning because it's really hard to get 198 towns in a certain order over eight days. On one of those days, they visited 32 towns and traveled more than 600 miles. It was exhausting, yet rewarding. I just kept an open mind because there's a lot to learn about a town when you get to one. Even like old rundown schools, you kind of think to yourself, well, when did this shut down? How long, how long has it been active? What kind of stuff? What's the history behind it? And just people, they had those connections, just taking a picture of the building and people have this memory pop in their head and they'll leave that memory for us. It's all about like just connecting Nebraska together. Exactly. That's, what, that's what the main thing that happened with yeah. this is. That. We didn't expect it to happen. No, but, but it did. I don't know what they were going to, the roof maybe. <laughs> Almost by accident, their impulsive adventure and online travel journals created a positive virtual connection, as well as a distraction from a very real world darkness for thousands of strangers. So town 530 was Verdigree, and we put up this post saying like, oh, thank you guys for all your support. We're, almost, we're not quite done with our journey, but this is, all, this is basically the tail end of it. We got a couple hundred comments of people just saying, thank you for letting us travel vicariously through you. Knowing that 22,000 people were following us around the state, just because we we're visiting towns, we were just there to learn about the town and really not a whole lot else, just have some fun road tripping around the state. Exactly. That's all it's supposed to be. The last of 531 town signs. Oh, yeah. The last of 93 county courthouses. I know I need to angle up here. Yeah, I'll let you know. and one last veteran's memorial. More than 9,000 miles and a gallon of hand sanitizer later, the adventure ended where it began, nice. town number 531, their hometown of Wahoo. Oh, yeah. It's basically like going from Los Angeles to New York City, back to Los Angeles, back to New York City, and then like about the Chicago Omaha area. Yeah. Know. yeah, for real. Yeah. And Wahoo welcomed the travelers home with a celebration and keys to the city. What could possibly follow this experience? They documented their travels in a book, a demand from their Facebook fans. Here it is, we got our first proof copy the other day. Over the course of the last two months, over 200 people, unique people have said, if you make a book, we'll buy it, and you need to make this book, because everyone wants to, so cool. everyone wants to experience the journey over and over and over again in perpetuity, perpetuity, perpetuity. <laughs> For now, Seth and Austin are just hoping the world can get back to normal. Thank you! <laughs> well, maybe after a parade through their favorite and final town.